Tanya, is it strange to you that he's still in charge of the immigration portfolio? Uh, no, it's not strange, and, and primarily because um, Albanese picks and sticks with his mates, uh, and Giles is a long uh, mate, you know, he's been friends with Albanese for many, many years. He was a factional ally, uh, helped him in getting the leadership in the first place. Uh, Giles is a member, a significant member of the socialist left from Victoria. And as we know, Albanese is a member of the socialist left in New South Wales. So they've been friends for a very long time. And, and Albanese will stick with his mate here. Um, and for a couple of reasons. One, he doesn't want any instability. He knows, as somebody who lived through the Gillard and Rudd years, mm. he knows that any uh, disunity can lead to uh, a, a huge problems for him. Mm. So he will not want to reshuffle his uh, cabinet, even though it may be in his interest, and mm. certainly in the interest of Australia, to move Giles on. And also, he's in a position now where um, it seems that he's had a role himself uh, in stopping um, Direction 99 being tightened. We yes. know that he was cozying up to uh, Jacinta Ardern a couple of years back, you know, another Labor friend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> always yeah. a friend. Uh, in New Zealand, that's right, always friends. And, uh, and he clearly agreed, he's denying it, but mm -hmm. obviously some deal was struck at that time and he's sticking with it. And the problem he has is that if he uh, lets go of Giles, well, these issues will... will uh, uh, be presented and, and become a major problem for him. So yes. um, he will hold on to Giles for as long as he can. Yes. I, I, he, I think he would rather go down with the ship than have uh, the facts uh, being presented to, to the yes. public. Ultimately, well, we know that they put the interests of New Zealand in front of the interests of Australia. Oh,